Prospects for the American Age, Sovereignty and Influence in the New World Order by Jamal Sanad al Suedi. The introduction, a thesis on the power structure of the New World Order, highlights the main theme around which the study revolves, namely the New World Order. It presents the hypothesis of the study regarding this new order, along with several questions including What are the factors that indicate the coming of a new world order? What are the most influential forces in that order? How is that order structured? And what are the most important and influential factors in the world order? The introduction also presents the main premise of the book, that the United States of America may be considered the dominant pole in the New World Order and that the world will continue to exist in an American age that is expected to extend for at least a further five decades. The qualitative supremacy of the United States of America has proven inescapable according to the data, statistics and information presented in this book as well as the scales and variables of comparison adopted by the author in terms of economics, military advancement, energy resources, transportation, education, culture and technological progress. According to these standards, the structure of the New World Order may be described as a hierarchy, with the United States of America alone at the top, followed by a second tier comprising China, Russia and the European Union a third tier consisting of Japan, India and Brazil, followed by the rest of the world. Under the heading The New World Order Features and Concepts, the first chapter of al Sawedi's new book presents a theoretical paradigm for the concept of the New World Order in its various dimensions. It presents two main themes. The first deals with concepts relating to the world order, drawing on literature that examines the evolution of the world order from the Peace of Westphalia in 1648 to the present day. It also presents various different views and arguments concerning the nature of the world order and the distribution of power within it. The first theme also explores the political, military, economic, cultural, educational, technological and energy-related dimensions of the world order and their importance in determining the relative powers of actors in the new world order. Moreover, it explains how the United States of America has succeeded in utilizing all these tools to create the world order it desires and seeks to lead. The second theme of this chapter discusses the main features of the New World Order, which play a significant role in the interactions that occur within it and which define it with regard to previous historical eras of the global system. Chapter 2 Factors influencing the structure of the New World Order examines the factors and patterns of influence and interaction within the World Order. These factors include Relations among civilizations Relative power in international relations Economic factors Military superiority Technological development Levels of knowledge Challenges and variables And the behavior of major powers Chapter 3, The World Order Decisive Junctures, aims to draw a comprehensive analytical map to help in understanding the historical transformations of the world order and, ultimately, the nature of contemporary global realities. Chapter 4, The New World Order Economy, Trade and Energy, focuses on the role of economic factors in deciding the structure of the New World Order and the hierarchy of powers within it. While the US economy is characterized by flexibility and high reliance on innovation and internal forces for growth, China depends on foreign investment and employing low-cost labor in export-oriented industries. This could make China more vulnerable to adverse economic shocks in the future. The author also expects that developments in the energy sector will greatly affect the ranking of powers in the new world order. The United States of America will increasingly become self-dependent in terms of energy, giving it a strong comparative advantage in the future. Chapter 5, UAE Public Opinion and the New World Order, 
A survey of the UAE population presents the findings of a public opinion survey in the UAE concerning the New World Order. The survey focuses on nationality, age, gender and educational level as explanatory variables of differences in public opinion toward the New World Order. In Chapter 6, Prospective Structural Changes and Their Consequences for the New World Order, the author discusses the potential structural, strategic changes in the New World Order in the coming five decades, stressing that unipolarity will have a variety of impacts on the world. The author anticipates that U.S. influence in international financial institutions will increase. In Chapter 7, The New World Order Future Outlook, the author confirms that the New World Order will be characterized by a number of features that will be important determinants of the ranking of world powers in the future, including the growing importance of technologically advanced and non-conventional systems of production and communication, and an increasing reliance on genetic engineering, cloning and nanotechnology in finding solutions to key issues such as achieving food security narrowing down the energy resource gap, etc. In the conclusion to the book, the author suggests that globalization has, in many respects, served to weaken the nation-state, as evidenced by the frail state of nations politically, militarily, economically and culturally, as well as in terms of their education systems. It is also clear that nations do not possess the means to positively engage with the effects of globalization and to benefit from, or at least to lessen the negative effects of, this phenomenon. The author also indicates that the Arab world is a central arena in the world and the focus of a variety of conflicts that are of direct relevance to the prospects for the American age. The author believes that in the light of the obstacles to development faced by many Arab states, it is difficult to say that the near future will herald improvements in these countries' circumstances, particularly in light of the worsening internal crises in major Arab countries and the strategic expansion of regional non-Arab powers to fill the void left by the declining regional role of conventional Arab powers. This comes alongside the increasing influence of Israel. The conclusion also claims that economics will not simply be a factor in the calculation of states' roles and positions in the New World Order, but rather the central engine of change for small and mid-sized powers in the New World Order.